Hi you guys, just a quick update to my previous video on the HTC One X. Over the last 24 hours, HTC have been pushing a new update to the HTC One X version 1.29.401.11. This new update addresses quite a few issues that people have been having with their device and has been widely reported through various forums, XDA developers and HTC websites. The main items addressed with the new update are battery levels that are actually shown in the settings menu as opposed to the icon on the top of the screen the flicker that's been experienced by some users and not all on various video applications and video functions of the phone and other applications the backlight of the capacitive keys on the bottom of the phone and the multitasking tabs in the tab bar firstly I want to talk about the capacitive keys on the bottom of the device my device, previously, the capacitive keys on the bottom weren't illuminated at all during daylight hours. And in fact, it had to be quite dark for the capacitive keys to illuminate in any way. This was quite frustrating in as much as the capacitive keys almost melted into the black background and were virtually impossible to see in some scenarios. Just briefly turn the power on on the top and we'll just go through it quickly. With the power on, on the device, they're quite visible, they're still visible, but not as bright as the can go in certain light uh, conditions if I unlock the device. They illuminate slightly brighter than they were in a sleep condition. If I take uh, a black cover and place it over the light sensor at the top, you can see that the capacitive keys light up even further. This for me is a bit of an improvement over what I had before. The various people and various forums on the internet saying different things like no backlight, backlight on bright all day, no way to alter it, but for me this is an improvement on what I had previously on the phone. Second thing I want to talk about briefly is the multitasking tabs. Previously on all HTC devices and Android devices, multitasking has been spectacular compared to say the iPhone for example. Multitasking on HTC devices and Android devices enables you to go back to a place where you were in a previous browsed web page and for instance copy and paste things from that web page then leave that web page and take them into mail and copy and paste etc etc HTC for some reason had more or less nobbled this feature previous to this update in as much as that the pages that you'd previously visited were visible in your tabs or your multitasking tabs but on clicking them tabs it would revert you to the principal page i.e. it would reload the page and you would not be where you were in the links or the the line of pages that you follow down the line. Just a quick uh, preview of this, if I unlock the device at the bottom and we click on the multitasking tab, uh, I've got a few multitasking tabs open here, if we go right to the far side and I click on a Chrome tab that I've got open, it takes us to a link on uh, msn.com but if I go back to the tab at the bottom and press the back button you can see it takes me back to where I started on, which was a tab for Hotmail in the uh, tab menu. Previously, when you went to tabs prior to this update, what would happen straight away, as soon as you clicked on the link, or opened the link in the uh, multitasking bar, it would take you to this page straight away. It would preview the first page as a tab, but you would not be able to get into the first page as we've just seen. Other improvements that have been noted are battery levels that are actually shown within the settings uh, menu on the phone. So if we pull down from the top and get into settings, we go into settings, if I can do it from this angle, and we go to power, the battery level use was not consistent with what was showing on the icon on the top of the phone previously. Now it seems to be a lot more accurate. Previously it was showing maybe a quarter and on the tab at the top it was showing over a half or vice versa. So that seems to be vastly improved. Another thing that HTC has supposedly done in this update is stop screen flicker. Now one of the things I read on one of the web forums is that uh, this for some reason may take a week or so to actually enable itself on the device whether it's uh, dependent on using certain applications in and out of different brightness levels I don't know one thing that has been reported by different forums is if you go into the brightness settings 
and turn the brightness off auto brightness and take it to its maximum up and down a few times then exit out via the home screen that should increase or speed up the process why this should be the case I don't know anyway you guys any of these things have been helpful for you or you want to leave any uh, comments in the comment section below or ask any questions about the HTC One X if you're thinking of buying one and you would like to know certain things that uh, I could probably tell you please leave a comment I will be making a few uh, short videos on the HTC One X the next one will be on the car dock feature uh, if you want to follow all these, please subscribe and uh, you'll be able to get access to all of these.